Hey, hey, drama fans. 25 minutes and I'm heading to the airport. Just making sure I've got everything. I've got my man bag. I've got my vape. I've got my other big bag. My laptop, switch, chargers, tickets. God, I hate this time. <laughs> Always rushing around thinking if I've forgotten anything. Don't think there is. My suitcase is downstairs, ready to go. Yeah, I'm all ready. <laughs> Excited. Through airport security. God. Talk about taking your job way too serious. Had to go through it twice. Just in the shops now. I don't smoke and I don't drink. But I do need a switch charger. Not a switch charger, a case. So that's what I'm gonna look for now. I don't need aftershave. I only wear one kind. I don't like how that zoomed in. Oh, boiling. Jesus, how big is this shop? Do you want to see? That's how big it is. It's massive. Switch. I need a case. In the game. I don't think I'm going to get one here. Uh, then there's another shop. Oh, there's loads of shops up here. Oh. WH Smiths? Maybe? Let's have a little look. Oh, no filming. No. No switch cases in there. Apparently there's a digital shop like you can go in. But right now I'm gonna go to the smoking area and puff on my beard. So I was able to get them. 81 pound 98 for a case and a game. I got Zelda. It's all bars. Literally, that's all there is in this airport, bars. Oh, I don't think I can sit there. Paying customers only. Literally, it's packed. I've never known an airport to be packed at this time. Uh, there's no seats. Oh, man. Literally. I'll say to you. Ah, oh. I'm Melda. Say all that. Let's be switch. I only wanted the keys. This came, comes with headphones and everything. I don't care about the box. Why put that crap around my box, man? That comes with a charger. Which is in perfect. And that's going to protect my screen. Oh, 
Why do they stick stickers everywhere? There are headphones. I might give these a wee. Because I've already got a pair of this iPhone as well. I mean, this Google Pixel's got no headphone jack. Make sure this is the actual physical game and not a download. Yep, it is. Now I need to find a bin. There's one there. I didn't leave anything, did I? I did. I left some rubbish. Eighty odd pound for that. All I wanted was a case. And all the ones that we've got, it comes with headphones, it's the, the deluxe version. I don't care about that. I'm really surprised how packed it is in here, especially at this time. It's insane. I would have waited to get a case, but I didn't want it getting scratched up in my bag. So I thought stuff it. I mean, the case on that itself only came at £25, but I wanted a game as well. I got the new Zelda. I don't know if I showed you. I can't remember. Right, I'll be two ticks because you can't record in here. It's half four in the morning and everyone's getting drunk.
Hey, hey guys. Oh, made it in London. Heathrow. It's like a maze. It's massive. And it's freezing. I think it's actually bigger than England. Watch. There you go. That's how big the holes are. And I'm, only, I'm not even at the shops yet. <laughs> yeah, not even at the shops yet. Coming up to them, I think. I think I've never been here before. Right. Terminal 2, straight ahead. Now, four hours. Four hours. Terminal oh. 5. Four hours and ten minutes before I fly. I'm going to be bored out of my mind. I think I got about 20 minutes sleep on that flight. That was it. Oh, I don't know what I'm rushing for, seriously. I don't know why I'm walking so fast. I don't need to be walking fast. I've got four hours. I'll turn all two at the bottom of there. Check within the terminal. This to terminal two via buses. A bit weird. Trying to walk in, might as well rest. Oh, there's Terminal 2 right there. Oh, well, that's a good spot. So, this is where I have to be. Right. So, where's all the shops? Okay. Pilots. Arrival's journey. Flight connections. Oh, I'm gonna ask someone. I'll ask someone. Well, that was a lot of help. So the only thing we've got here is a vending machine. And that's it. I mean, you would think there would be a map. Oh, wait there, is this a bus? Oh, you've got to get a bus to it. you got to get a bus to Terminal 2. Terminal 2. Bus to Ports 2, Terminal 2 in five minutes. Ah, get it now. See, I thought this was the airport. <laughs> no. Bus takes you to it. We are currently experiencing extended journey times on buses connecting to Terminal 4. That's not me, I'm Terminal 2. Four minutes for the bus. This airport must be massive. Like, really, really big. I'm sure Kevin took off from this airport at one point. But mine, he doesn't record much, does he? Because he's an idiot. One good thing about it, my ears didn't pop as bad. I bought chewing gum for the flight because it helps with the ears popping. But I didn't really need it. Four minutes. Yeah, I, I thought this was term, but mine that would have been too easy to get straight off the flight and come straight to your next terminal. That would have been way too easy. Especially having four hours to go. Imagine having to sit here for four hours doing nothing. Couldn't. Nah. 
I'd lose my marbles. I've got my passport covering my phone. <laughs> Just so it makes it look like that I'm on the phone or something. <laughs> So how is everyone? I'm having a whale of a time. I'm only been on one flight. Should have seen the size of the grin on my face. <laughs> oh, it was so good. I was like, yep, because I know where I'm going, that's why. Yeah, that's a spot there on the end of my nose as well. Terrible. This bag's really heavy as well. Doing no good to my back. Well, mine, that plane seat was so uncomfortable. My butt went to sleep and everything. So is this the one to Terminal 2? I think it is. Everyone else is getting on it, so I'm going to get on it. I mean, I've got four hours. If I get lost, I get lost. Who cares? Right, I'll be back. On the bus. On the bus again. So this must take, it has to take you at the terminal, terminal. Nine minutes to get on the bus. I know it's terminal two, it doesn't say it on my ticket. But I had to ask the woman where I've got to go next. She scanned it for me. And she goes to term, you've got to be off at terminal two. Just such a weird airport. I mean, Newcastle Airport, it's an international airport, but it's so small. Not as big as these ones. Like, why have it so big? Why have the layout like this? Like, there's buses everywhere. Why? Londoners, man. Oh, what a dull day, you can tell London's miserable, especially with the weather. Newcastle, the sun was coming out. As soon as you got to London, that's it, it just turned misty and gloomy. Oh, nobody told me I had to get a bus. Paid for a flight on a bus. <laughs> I don't know what I'm complaining about, at least my ears aren't popping. So it goes to terminal 5, so we must go all the, through all the terminals first. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. But mine is the only five terminals in uh, at this airport. If that's the case, then why is it so big? Does it make sense? Oh man, I couldn't believe how packed Newcastle Airport was. Never seen it that busy before. Like, that was ridiculously busy. Oh, I just want to get out of England already. I'm so over it. Anyway, what's everyone been doing? How's your weekend been? Because this will be, I land Friday, that's Friday the day, so I land at 10 o'clock tonight. I'm editing as I go along. So the videos you saw, like the part, the first part of the video you saw, that would have been me in Newcastle. I just editing them on the plane. Something to do. What was I going to say? So yeah, this will be uploaded on Saturday morning. So, how's everyone week? How's everyone's weekend going? I won't know how my weekend's going yet. Oh, should be showing you the view. So, yeah, to the view. Some pretty big planes, obviously. Major international in it, this one. Uh, yeah. oh. oh, Terminal 5, B gate. I want Terminal 2. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, not paying attention. Hey, I don't normally look at the camera. <laughs> no, I'm always looking around. Especially in a place I've never been before. 
Oh, terminal two, six minutes. A lot of British air we use. In Ryanair. Yeah, it was dead weird at Newcastle Airport, of course. Normally there's a queue in the let um like the ones with special boarding put the bags in first. But I, just, I was just stood there like an idiot for a good 15 minutes and I was like, oh I'm sick of this. Plus my bag was it's for 17 17.5 kilograms heavy. So every time I had to walk, I had to pick it up. So I just walked over to the desk. I says, Are we allowed to check my bags in yet? Whenever you checked in online, I says hi. When put your bag in, you can come at any time and put your bag in. Because you don't need to check in. I says, I just need my boarding pass. <laughs> Printed it out there and then threw me bag on the plane. I'm gonna pick my bag up at Dallas and re put it in. I had to do that the last time I went to Ohio. Uh, where'd I go? Atlanta. Flew so from Paris to Atlanta. Then I had to pick up my bag and then re put it in in Atlanta. I've got to do the same here this time around. Oh, I just can't wait. I feel that sun on my face. I know I don't normally do well in hot weather, but. I think I'm going to enjoy it this time. Right, Terminal 2 is coming up, so I'm going to look around when I get off, see if there's any quiet spot. <laughs> Catch us in a bit. Yeah, yeah, guys. So, I got sent all the way to Terminal 2 when I was told by a member of staff to go to Terminal 2. Got all the way there, went through the security checkpoint and everything, which, by the way, Londoners, you're taking your Heathrow Airport security, you're taking your job a little bit too serious. Like, seriously. We're not, we're not, you know. But then, I go to scan my ticket, I go through the next checkpoint, I went, oh, you're not Terminal 2, you're Terminal 3. So now I'm just sat here waiting to get on another bus, for Terminal 3, and it's taken the absolute mick. What a nightmare of an airport. I thought Paris was bad. Seriously, I thought Paris was bad. The problem with Paris was the layout. With Heathrow, it's the staff. Like, look at this idiot. Like, look at him. He's just sat there playing on his phone. He went, it'll be, be 10 minutes just to see if any more people come so we can get a little bit more passengers on the bus. That was 20 minutes ago. It's like, seriously, get off your phone. I mean, I'm allowed to be on mine, I'm not working yet. Oh, he's gone back on the bus, why? What is he doing? And for some reason, staff keep asking me what time's my flight? What's it matter? Why does it matter when my flight is? Like, I've been asked about four or five times now. By different staff members, what time's your flight? Oh, can we go now? Please. I'm going to start walking in a minute. Three. Yeah, three. Terminal 3. I'm telling you, this best be the right bloody time. I know I've got plenty of time. Of oh, three hours. There's plenty of time to get there. It's just, it's navigating through everything. And just to get there is a hassle. Yeah, kind of snapped at the last staff member that asked us. Then what time's your flight? I went, why? Well, why is everyone asking me that? Why do you need to know? He was like, sorry. Sorry, and backed away. Just pathetic. No wonder Kevin did you. 
<laughs> Talk to you in a minute. I'm on the big clean. It's massive. I right, want to see the TV. Yeah, that's the TV. This one's got a remote. I've never seen the one with the remote before. How do you get the remote out? Oh, reject. Oh, wow. They are full on keyboard. I thought it was a phone for a moment. Oh, that's just going to annoy me. Uh, how does that eject into there? God, how you do it. Well, next stop, Dallas. And then I'll be one more stop away. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to do is eat and then sleep. I made it. Dallas Airport. Oh, I made it. I am here. Oh, Terminal D parking. I just want to get out of here. Right, this will do. Terminal exit. Oh. 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 There, there it is. Uh, <laughs> I've still got one more flight to catch, like. One more flight, but I just want some fresh air. I'm going to puff on my vape. It's been 10 hours. <laughs> That's it, I'm on United States soil. United States soil at last. Been a long journey, still got one more flight to catch, but I'll be back. Hey, I tell you, it was a lot easier getting through Dallas Airport than you know, through customs. A lot easier than any other airport I've been through. Oh, that fresh air is lovely though. Stuck in stuffy airport since three o'clock yesterday morning. Was it yesterday morning? Thursday, Thursday morning. Oh, last leg of the journey. Off me back, and my whole body is sore. Five o'clock American time, is it? Way there. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve minutes past five. Like 11 o'clock at night back home. I've got a clock on my home screen, like shows home home time back in England in San Antonio. I didn't know my phone did it automatically. Oh, my whole body's sore. This bag's starting to get heavy as well. I don't even know why I've still got it on my shoulder. Sit down and relax. Oh, my back. My butt's gone to sleep, and it, oh, it was horrible on the plane. From Heathrow to here to Dallas was the worst experience on a flight I've ever had. My butt fell asleep and everything. It, kept, it was sore. Could get comfortable. Not in them seats. Ten hours, over ten hours. Kids screaming. So even after I tried closing my eyes for a bit, all I kept getting woken up. I feel dirty as well. Not even being able to brush my teeth. I've been eating chewing gum. Oh, well, finally, nearly over. Five hours to go. Land in San Antonio at ten o'clock. Right. Best. I suppose I best go find my gate. What did it say my gate was? Terminal C Boarding at C22 Right Come on then Let's get out of here No idea where Terminal C is like <laughs> Oh this is going to be fun Or about like a zombie
of international arrivals. And there's a map over here. Oh, there's a bus there for Terminal C. Stop. I need a drink as well. Excuse me, how do you get to Terminal C? Yeah, take that on your bus. That one, that one there? Huh? That one there? That's good. Terminal link. All right, okay, thank you. Terminal link. I mean, I've got five hours to figure it out, so... And I've done well up to now. One of the things I've just reclaimed my baggage. But I don't think they're picking me up from here because it's only a couple of hours away. You know, if I missed any flights or anything from Dallas. But like I said, I've got five hours to figure it out. Right. Where did this orange bus go? Oh! Zone 36. Of me, oh, look at that. It's up here. So much more informative. Airport security was lovely. I was there for about five minutes. Took me picture, took me fingerprints, the usual, and that's it. I was away. Terminal in orange. That's terminal D. Located terminal B, terminal E. Oh, well, I suppose that's it. That's it. Wait for the bus to come. Oh. Ow. Oh, there's an orange bus coming. Oh. I feel like I can sleep for a week. Stops at E ten. You know, I want to orange bus here. Express all B and E. Oh, but they do stop here. But right, so I just need to make a turn in that seat. Great. It does say terminal C, doesn't it? Terminal C. I'm not making that mistake again. Always double check, Link. Always double check. Oh. Terminal C. See, are you gonna pull in? Yep, yeah, you are beautiful. I'll be back. Oh, these seats are so comfortable. Oh, I could fall asleep. I really could when I'm hungry. with a massage <laughs> then that's pushing it though oh. it's 
bus is quite nice. Nice and small. Oh, I'll be back. Oh, it's getting dark. Terminal C. This must be it here. I'm going to see Upper Plumbers are you? Oh, there's C22. C22, zone, zone 24. I don't think I'll get another bus, I think I'll just walk it. But we can only be in here. Twenty six to thirty nine. Actually, oh. it's bedtime. Well, oh, that's the old man away to bed. I don't remember now about the time difference. That's something I always seem to forget about. I don't know why this passenger pick up the uh, a terminal that's right there. Some of these airports confuse me. Really do. Jesus, this one's got a massive train. Right, let's go in here. Right, I'll be back. Found it. I'm through with the last airport checkout. Airport security. Eleven dollars and twenty-four cents for the Big Mac and the large fries. That's almost double back from what back home is. Nearly twelve dollars for some food. Unbelievable. Oh. My terminal is just down there. So I'll stop it, I might as well get something to eat. Best thing about airports, they don't stop serving certain foods at a certain time. Like all day. You know, like if you go to McDonald's before 11 o'clock back home, they'll only serve breakfast menus, but here they don't. You can get a Big Mac at like 8 o'clock in the morning if you want. Right, I'm going to devour this, and I'm not going to do it on camera. I'll be back. Yeah, I came back outside. I'll just go back through security again, seeing as it's easy. I mean, I don't catch a flight for 20 past 6 now. I don't catch a flight until like 9 o'clock. I'm just sat around doing nothing. So I just asked them, I says, oh, if I come outside to smoke, kind of, how do I get back in? And when you've got to go through security again, I went, that's fine. Took all but five minutes to get through security. Got dark fast. Unbelievable how dark it, how quick it got dark. I just can't wait for this day to be over. I'm done with it now. No, oh, my whole body aches. I just want sleep. That's all I want to do. That's why I've eaten. So I don't need to eat when I 
when I land in San Antonio. Oh, well, I'm not going anywhere yet, so I'll be back. Back in. Oh, I've got a TGI's Friday. Liberty. TGI's Friday. I've never had TGI's before. Can't believe that's in the airport. C37, all of the people should be on board here at C37 for Air Flight 546. Service to San Antonio. Once again, we're here at C37. C37, that's not me. It's a bit dumb, though, isn't it? What's the point in having multiple flights to San Antonio? It's very strange. I just want to explore a bit. Without going outside this time, there's a few exits. But the thing is, if you go if you go through an exit, you've got to go back through security. So went, you've just been through here. I went, yeah, I went exploring, and I went out the wrong door. <laughs> oh, they've got a chilies. Chilies is nice. Chilies. Chilies. Alternate oh, magazine. Never heard of it. It's just like that's just like boots, that in it. Marks and Spencers or whatever it is at Newcastle Airport where they sell magazines and suits. Press break, baked breads. Here we go, I've still got. Oh, it's close to 20 past 7. Well, like an hour. An hour to go. Then that's another exit up there. See, there's another one for San Antonio. Why? Why is it just like multiple borders for San Antonio? There's two. C37, C39. San Antonio. Should be allowed to get on any one of them. Sports bar. Anything that no, that's an exit. I don't want to go outside. I shouldn't really be walking, but I want to explore. Cross my feet or so. Oh, I just had a good idea. Men's room. I'll be two kids. Much, much better. This airport died down a bit now. Still quite a few people here, but not as, ma as many. Oh. Hey, I'm going to go back to my gate and sit down with my feet so I've explored. So that shop there doesn't have cashiers. It's a bit weird. I've heard of Amazon doing something like that where they have a shop where there's no like servers or cashiers or anything. I wish I would have known there was a chimneys there. And the TGIs. There's loads of these, like little stands. There's like loads of these little ones. 
that just sells sweets and pop. They're cute little stands. Oh, there's a little bit of airport security for what's their past, but we're not noticing. I didn't know there was two. TGI Fridays. Oh, I'm stuffed as well. That Big Mac filled me up. I would have waited if I would have known that was there. Liberty. Hey, I'll be back. Hey, but it's just waiting game now. C26. I think mine's the next one. Well, they'll be calling for seven. Should be. Because they use the gates for multiple ones. So I think it's a bus job. You know, where you go through that terminal and they take you down to a bus and onto a plane. Obviously, it's a small one. Oh. What a nightmare. But mine, it's over soon. He threw was the worst. Especially when sending me on that wild goose chase. I don't remember if I told you. But when I got off the plane, I scanned my ticket to see where I needed to be as a terminal too. So that was at the other side of the airport. So I went there, all the way there. Just for them to say, no, you're at Terminal 3, the other side you've just been. That's the reason why I kept getting annoyed when people were asking me, what time is your flight? I snapped up one of them and said, well, you've got to bet on or something. And then, why do you need to know what time everyone's flight is? It's just weird. They didn't answer me. Anyway, on a bigger and better news, when I go home, I'll be moving. Yes, moving, me and me dad. What it is, is the estate that we live on, they're being bulldozed. It's like marked for bull being bulldozed, the whole entire thing. So we've been already been given the letter. Saying blah, 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 you've got to move. They haven't given us a date to move out by, but they've said uh, you'll get this much in compensation and you'll get a property of your choosing straight away. You know, you'll be at the top of the list. You choose, you'll get it. I remember the well, first house we lived in when we moved in this area. They were, they did the same thing. Got a candy bit of compensation out of them. So, yeah. Look, that to look forward to when I get home. I mean, I haven't got much. One of the TV's broken. So that'll be staying. So I've got one TV. Three laptops. No, two laptops, sorry, but one of them's got a cracked screen. Me touch screen one. So I'm having to use me big in. I've actually brought that one with me. There's, um broken down PC which I'll probably take and that's it, me bed the rest is me dad's <laughs> oh what a we on half seven come on still, it still hasn't gone up on the board tell you what though this uh, this charging battery thing I'll show you this, me dad give us it one of them uh, battery packs. This is a lifesaver. Because for some reason, the TV that was on that big plane coming from Heathrow to Dallas wasn't charging before. It was on like 90%, and that's when I realised, oh, I've got my battery pack on me. Fully charged. Oh, oh. So that's good. Came in handy. I bought some perfume, uh, some aftershave as well. I was going to say perfume there. Uh. Yeah, it was on sale. It was a brand I used to wear years ago for such. It's apparently new. So I thought, you know what? I wear the same thing all the time. Maybe it's time to give it a switch it up a bit. 
that caused problems as well because it was in the security seal bag. But that uh, he threw that open it, take out the box, so that they take it out the wrapping, 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 and that. Take it out the box, put it in this machine, came back all clear, put it back in the box, and put it in the new wrapping. And what was the point of that? When they started swabbing me clothes and me bag, you know them little white cloths that they put in the machine to, de to detect narcotics. And you take your job way too serious. Because we're not all bad people, you know. That's why my back's so heavy. I mean, there's a keyboard in it. Why'd I put the keyboard in that bag? Why didn't I just put it in my suitcase? It's durable, it would have survived. No idea why I packed half the stuff I did. I'm not just putting it in my suitcase, it's like the chargers. I did not have to put the chargers in this, in, like my laptop charger and my Wii charger in this bag. I should have put it in my suitcase. I know what to do on my way back and what to do from now on. Oh. Right, I'm going to chill out and do, do a bit of editing. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Hey guys, I'm here. This is Chewy. <laughs> There's three of them. Oh, what's a matter, boobs? Right. So yeah, I'm here. I'm going to sleep. Good night.